Hey everybody, this is Ryan Harris with Purdue Extension in Spencer County, and today we are going to take a look at solvents and solubility. So what a solvent is, is a usually a liquid that can dissolve other substances. So we have some common uh, solvents today. We have on the right, we have white vinegar, and on the left, we have rubbing alcohol, and we are also going to be taking a look at water. So besides our solvents, the only other things we'll need to complete this experiment are some markers. I have some Sharpies there, but uh, you guys can use whatever you want, um, pens, you can use magic markers if you want. Uh, and then we'll need some plastic cups, uh, preferably ones that you can see through like I have here, just so you can see the effects that the different solvents will have. And the only other thing we'll need are some coffee filters. Um, so once we have all of those things, we can get started. Just before we begin this experiment, we are going to come up with a hypothesis. So out of our three solvents that we have here, we are going to guess which one dissolves the Sharpies the best and which one dissolves the Sharpies the worst. So all you need to do is write a couple sentences about that. And uh, my guess is that out of our three here, the rubbing alcohol will dissolve the Sharpies the best and the water will probably do the worst with the vinegar right there in the middle. Once we have our hypothesis done, we can get this experiment started. So the first thing we'll do is take three coffee filters and draw some circles on them, just like this. Uh, I have the other two done right there. And then once we have filled our cups with our different solvents, we can put our coffee filters right in the solvent, just enough to where they touch the liquid. Just like this. And we'll do that for the other three. And then once we have all three of our coffee filters in our solvents, we'll wait for 15 minutes and then come back and see what kind of effects that they've had on the markers. All right, it's been 15 minutes since I last put these coffee filters in our different solvents. So we're going to take a look at our different coffee filters to see how well these solvents dissolved our markers. Uh, if we start from the left, it looks like our rubbing alcohol did in fact do the best. And you can even see some of the uh, color here in the rubbing alcohol. Um, and then it looks like our water and our white vinegar did just about the same, and that's not a whole lot at all. You can kind of see some of the color here in the white vinegar, uh, so maybe that did do a little bit better than the water, but they look about the same, um, and very clearly the rubbing alcohol did uh, dissolve our markers the best. So that'll be our uh, answer, and that did confirm my hypothesis. So I thought the rubbing alcohol would do the best, and it did. Um, but the other half of it was I thought the water was going to do the worst, and it looks like it did just about as well as the white vinegar did. So that's all you need to complete this experiment, everybody. So try it out at home. Uh, you can always use more solvents if you can find them around the house. And I would say just make sure you have some paper towels, or right here I have a paper plate uh, at the ready to uh, make sure that these coffee filters don't drip all over the place. So have a great day everyone and we'll see you soon for more videos.